Hey everyone, how you doing? Today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I call the flop and checking the flop in the weekly Monday through Friday trading week. So if you look at the trading week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as the five cards in Texas Hold'em Poker that everyone sees on the table, you have the flop, which is the first three days, or the first three cards, that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then you have 4th Street, which is Thursday, and that's really important because tomorrow every tech company, including Apple and Facebook and everyone else is coming out tomorrow. They all load up on on Thursday, and then we have Friday. Now, of course, we've seen this week how Monday was sort of a down day. We had a little bit of a retracement Tuesday. Again, Tuesday is typically a retracement or short covering day. Uh, Wednesday is typically a choppy day and in a bear market or an anticipatory bear market where the winds of change might come into the White House or local laws, anything. There's a lot of uncertainty in the air that can happen. So today it's not surprising that we're down three and a half points. Three and a half percent, you know, on the Dow is what, nine, I think it went down 900 points. So basically I look at this week especially as a perfect example of the flop you've got monday tuesday wednesday you know we basically sat out yes we have a few positions on but it's less than a few thousand bucks in total options stock everything we're completely out of the market so for the year we're up 50 uh we're up 61 percent trailing 12 months and we're up about 58 or something somewhere a high 50 percent 58 or 59 percent in year to date, so January through October of 2020. Um, and this is all from triggered computer trades. We don't just day trade in the account. We buy, we invest some things, but it's mostly we take small amounts of the overall account size and we options trade the technicals. So in terms of the flop, we basically have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you check the flop, meaning you don't bet too too much or nothing. You don't you just stay out of the market. And that's what we did. Sure enough, the market tanks on Wednesday, even though you know, all over YouTube and the news and everything you see, especially the financial news, you see all these things, oh, they went down a little bit, ready to buy. It's not gonna be buying season until March. I mean, typically middle of March is the bottom of the S P. You know, if you look at 2020 or if you look at the 11-year cycle, 2009, 11 years prior, 2009, March, 2009 was the bottom of the market. So, again, we look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday as the first three cards of the flop. Thursday is 4th Street, and you've got the River or 5th Street on Friday. So, no one really wants to get stuck, you know, long or short options on a Friday at expiration. So, everyone's kind of getting out and the algorithms do the same thing, you know, before the end of the week. So um, this is basically an example, a perfect example of where you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are essentially down days, even with earnings may be positive, the whole market tanks. So that's going to tell you what's going to happen on Thursday. Do you want to go long Apple on Thursday? Maybe maybe buy a contract, 100 shares, maybe 50, 10, something small, you know. But do you really need to be trading now when the entire, when the flop has showed you that you basically have two, three off-suited and a 10, you know, (laughs) and you don't have a pair or anything that you're holding? So, you know, when you check the flop, you have the advantage of seeing what happens that week. And, And a lot of money can be made still in one move on a Friday, or you can, you know, a lot of times we make our weekly quota in one or two days of trading one or two sessions of trading and that's it because if you over trade you essentially as a human you can always lose money but again we look at it from a poker standpoint as you know checking the flop you wait out monday tuesday wednesday and thursday can really be an indicator i mean we're in the october sell-off stage before you know everyone closes their books by thanksgiving the hedge funds um so we're looking at and then you got all Chinese hedge funds liquidating through the new year up until Chinese New Year, which last year was right, you know, right around the end of January, I believe. Uh, it varies February to the end of January. So 
you know, through January, you're still going to have selling worldwide, uh, especially that all Chinese hedge funds liquidate before the Chinese New Year. Uh, it's a tradition that I learned about when I was um, traveling and meeting with a, a buddy of mine who actually works at a Chinese hedge fund. But if you look at the week as the five cards in poker, you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday as the flop. Thursday is that fourth street or turn card. And then Friday is the river. <laughs> So I hope that's uh, been a good analogy. Um, You know, I was recently training with uh, John and Pete Nigerian in Miami, Florida, right, literally right before the pandemic in March of 2020. And one of their guys there uh, was was a poker player. He was a professional poker player turned trader, and he loved the actual the, the, the similarity. So I asked him if that, if he had ever heard of that. And he said, no, no, I, but that's actually a good, good analogy. He'd never heard of like looking at the trading week as the five cards in poker. So there you have it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can always sit back and check the flop.